Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at an example that you could be using to do pocket engraving and this will be for router cam. But before that let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on router cam examples where we will be covering a few different um, examples that you could be using or how it looks like when you uh, use some of these two parts. Now, we're going to be looking at pocket engraving. And like I mentioned before, a lot of these uh, processes will look very similar, obviously depending on your um, desired outcome and the material you're using. So now, um, previously we did some pocket um, uh, sorry a contour engraving where we did just the outlines so now let's say we've got this piece i've already set up so it cuts out the am.co.za and then um, now we want to look at perhaps the route to cam engraving this so then that way if you want to you can put it on a window or a, um, a backdrop where you can actually see light coming through the am.co.za and then this one's engraved so you can always two-tone it or something like that so now what we're going to do is uh, select the graphics we actually want to pocket engrave. Make sure all your project settings are set up right, like your workpiece and stuff like that. And then also your settings, your output, because that's going to be later important, obviously, for saving your G code. So then with your graphics selected, we click here on pocket engraving. We'll open up our toolbox. Let's call this, um, I'm just going to call this route to cam pocket. So we know which layer is the right one. I'm going to keep it on one mold because we're not working on a very big um, uh, uh, work piece here. You can obviously go show tool diameter if you want to have it nicely to see what's going to be filled. I'm just going to leave mine off. I'm going to leave it on climb. Then, um, yeah, allowance, all of that. I'm going to leave the same because I don't want, I want to exactly cut out inside. If I put allowance, it's going to start putting white spacing and taking it to the inside. Now, depending on the um, thickness of your material, you can set the engraving height. And then I'm just going to keep mine minus one. So nothing too special. Leave my curve precision right there. Say OK. Then we go to G1, G2. As you guys can see, the process is pretty much the same with most of these um, different settings. It is you basically want to just while this process, so you want to set up your workpiece, set up your tool, make a preview or generate it and then um, save the final file so you can actually use it on your machine then uh, the nice thing about this preview is obviously you can if you notice something is wrong so if we go here and you realize okay you know what i would like this a little bit deeper going to the material you obviously go right or front view so we can see the depth then you can quickly change it before you throw it in your actual program then uh, once that is done we click here save and then uh, let's call this PE for pocket engrave. Just make sure you know where you are saving your things to. Otherwise, uh, it can get quite confusing when you're finally looking for the file. But yeah, otherwise that is it on pocket engraving. We head here to softwaretraining.co.za. You guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And also um, you can isolate your search on the top right. If you do not however find the training video you're looking for just simply go here request the training video and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you but otherwise thanks guys for watching until next one cheers